In this video, we will see how to use section property calculator to create section properties that are not given in the section property definitions, such as the combined ones. There are some database options for combined type of steel section properties. So we can see those over here. These are the different combined sections. However, when it comes to a section like this, we can go ahead and use Section Property Calculator. The Section Property Calculator is inbuilt in Midas Gen. We can go to the Tools and access the Section Property Calculator from here. The Section Property Calculator is opened and we can change the unit system according to what we have in our AutoCAD file or DXF file. So I have created this section in centimeters. So likewise, I have chosen the length in centimeter unit. After this, we will go ahead and import this section. We can also create or draw the section property in the SPC itself. So by importing AutoCAD DXF file, the program asks us about the intersection duplication shall be checked or not. So yes, we can see there are several duplicates and uh, several uh, curves are split. So what we need to do over here is that we need to create the outline of this section property only. So we need to remove the inner lines. We will do that by going to the model curve and delete tool. We need to simply delete the lines that are inside. So we can select them in this way and click on apply. Oh, sorry, this is reverse. Let us choose delete curve and apply. We are removing all the inside curves. We will select these curves and apply. So we have the outline of our section. Now we will go ahead, generate this section so we'll go to the section over here to, and click on generate. Plane to create section within and the unit. Let's provide a name to it. We'll call it as combined. We can ask the program to calculate the section properties over here itself. So we can check on this option, select all the curves and click on apply. Over here, it has given us a warning or an error that the calculation of properties was incomplete because the meshing was unsuitable. So basically, the program over here is calculating the section properties using mesh. So what we need to do is we need to reduce the size of this default mesh. And let's go to the property, block calculate section property and provide our own mesh size over here. Now the thickness is almost one centimeter. So I'll make mesh size is one. And we can click on this section once and click on apply. So this mesh size was appropriate. It has successfully calculated the section property. And now all we need to do is export this section property. For that, we will go to the model section and say export. We will click on this Midas section file that that section file will have the extension of .sec and we will provide it a location and we will save it. And after that, we will go ahead to gen. In Midas gen, we will go to this properties tab, section property definition, add, and in this
this we will go to the value type or section data definition. Select the shape as general section. Click on import SEC file. Select the one that we had exported. Okay, we can see it over here. Provided a name, the section properties also have come automatically from SPC. I'll call it as combined itself. We can name it anything. And after that, simply click on OK and close. The first section property that was generated has been assigned to the element that was already created in the MidasGen file. We can see the section shape in MidasGen as well. So this is how we can create an irregular shape or a section shape which is not available in MIDAS Gen section data definition using the section property calculator.